Anh em xong Hello My name is Jim Hallett I live in Abilene, Texas I've got a 67 Corvette Coupe 427 Tri-Power 435 horsepower All factory equipment This car was delivered to Mahan, Chevrolet and Pontiac April the of 1967 I think it was April the 22nd I'm not positive but I'll have that information this is not a restored car this this car is all factory the only thing I made some modifications on the car we changed the exhaust and the reason I changed the exhaust I added a set of exhaust because the side pipes alone were extremely noisy and the police love to give me tickets for excessive noise with a motor vehicle. So let's just kind of walk around and I'll point out some things to you. Of course, here's the factory side exhaust. That's the way the car came originally from the factory. And what we did is come in and put another set of exhaust through the back. That's all factory equipment. And the only way I could figure out how to tone the noise down was just add this exhaust. We installed a Y pipe up by the headers and brought all the exhaust out the back and out the side. Otherwise, I couldn't drive the car. I got too many tickets for excessive noise with the motor vehicle. And that's just driving. That's not burning rubber. So that's just typical driving. They just had me kind of pinpointed. They I think they were jealous because I had a Corvette and they didn't. But they sure got even with me at my pocketbook. Let's go around over here on the window sticker. I'll show you a few things on it. This is the original window sticker. I do have the gas tank sticker. It's still on the gas tank. I've never taken it off. I've got photos where I went in there with a camera on a special angle. Uh, camera and took pictures of it, but I left all that undisturbed. Like I say, this is no restore. This is the way it was delivered. Let's look at the sticker. Like I say, this was delivered to Mahan, Chevrolet, and Pontiac in Deleon, Texas. That's 85 miles from where I live. This car has never been out of a 250-mile radius of where it is at present. I just, this was a weekend type car. And uh, anyhow, let's get back to the window sticker. It comes with Marlboro Maroon on the paint. It's got the special heavy duty HD brakes on it all the way around. It's got the M22 four speed HD close ratio transmission, tinted glass, bolt on aluminum wheels, including a spare. It's got AM, FM radio, it's got the transistor ignition, it's got the side pipe duals, it's got the 7515 before R for red stripe on the, on the tires were factory. It's got the positive track, axle, 411 gear ratio, 435 horsepower V8 turbojet engine. All these were factory items. The only thing I've done is added a set of exhaust like I mentioned a while ago. I'm going to go in here and pop the hood. We'll look underneath and then I'll show you the interior of this car and let you see how all this looks inside. It's all just factory, no replacement, original carpet, original seats, original gauges. No monkeying around on it. Let me get that hood real quick.
It's got the original jack and the instructions how to use the jack on this car. It's underneath the back. It's kind of hard to get to and try to film at the same time, but most people know where it is. It's right behind the seat on the driver's side. Your miles on this car is 41,608. Original miles. Let me start this beast up and let's see what it sounds like. in it kind of scan in here glove box the specto plate the owner's manual this thing off so I can hear myself think. I'm going to get inside and, and raise the headlights up and turn them on to let you know that all the headlights work fine.
These cars sat there and idle with those three twos that it's been sitting for a long time. They kind of load up. That's why it's kind of difficult to start. But once you drive it and clear it out, it's, if you know anything about multi carburetors, you know what I'm talking about. All the factory jack and all that stuff still in behind the seat. Back underneath there is where the factory jack is with the instructions where all that goes. AM, FM radio works. I just never play it, but it's, it's there if you want to listen to it. Some of the factory parts, maybe a hose clamp might not be the perfect one because as they, I replaced, I probably just got what I could find at the store. I noticed I'm looking up here on the intake. One of them has got the wire band and the other one's got like a the screw type clamp. I think I put those on the water pump just to make sure those were super secure. It does have a different set of headers. That's what we use where we tied in the Y pipe took the factory cast irons off and we put the these headers on there special for 67 Corvette and done the Y pipe in order to run two exhausts. But it sounds real good. I like it with two two sets of exhaust coming out the back and then one out the side. It's not so noisy and rumbly. You can't hear yourself think. And so that was the main reason on that. Plus I didn't want to go to jail with tickets. So uh the way I got this car, it was delivered to the Pontiac dealership, as I said, Chevrolet Pontiac, De Leon, Texas. E.E. E. Ford purchased a car for his son that was going to Texas Tech College at that time. And uh, I was on my way to Dallas, and I seen it sitting at a car lot. I pulled over and talked to a guy about it. He said that Mr. Ford put it up for sale because his son flunked the grades, and he took the car away. Long story short, I was there and took advantage of a good opportunity. I purchased the car, and I've had it ever since. This is not no fine car in the garage that some old lady had covered up for 51 years. I've had it the full time. I think I got it right in the middle of July, probably when I got it. It had 1,624 miles on the car. Now we got 41,608 actual miles. I've showed this car several times, different ICA shows, and always placed in the top 10 with it. And uh, it's just a great driver. Gas mileage is not very good at all. Uh, when you're feeding 435 horsepower, you gotta give it something to eat. Loves to eat. And you better watch it, it slip out from under you pretty quick too. But anyhow, it's been my pride and joy all these years, and I'm at the time in my life where I need to go on down the road, and I need to find a new owner for it that take as good a care of this car as I have, because this car, <coughs> had a lot of priorities. I was in the aircraft business and when I got this car and I'd pull it in the big huge plants at night so I'd keep an eye on it number one but it never set out in the weather and when I got off work I went straight home and it went back in the garage again. That's how you keep stuff. That's how you keep stuff looking like this without restoring it on anything. You take care of it. But I really had a lot of fun with it. I'm going to post this on the online for sale. And there will be a phone number there. you got any questions, I'll be glad to talk to you, send you video, whatever. It's got the 67 original Corvette plates on front and back. It's registered as an antique vehicle at the present. Uh, Texas has got a law, you got to have a front license plate or you, they can write you up for a ticket for that as well. 
So uh, I've just recently put the front license plate on it to do this video. I can get down on my knees and try to show you that Y pipe, how we done that. It's very simple, but it's all mandrel bend tubes that we used on this to tie into the headers to swing back up to tie into the lead off down the side as well as going out the back. Let me get on the car and I'll try to give you a quick example of this. Right there's your Y pipe. It Y's and comes up to the front and then it goes straight on back to the back out the back of the exhaust. Simple as that. And actually, it picked up the performance quite a bit. Performance was there, but it really brought it alive, having that uh, let these motors breathe like they need to. This car runs on 100 plus octane fuel. I've been running aviation leaded gas, 100 octane. I get it at the airport. A friend of mine's got a plane, and I have no issues getting the good stuff to run in it. And uh, basically, it's just as good as you can get. It's already been proven. If anything's going to fall apart, it already fell apart. But it's just as solid as the day it was when I bought it. Oh, by the way, it's a no-smoker as well. Very solid. Well, that's about wraps this little deal up. I'm no professional movie photographer, but at least it'll give you an idea of what we're talking about here. If you're real serious about it, you can make an appointment. I don't mind showing it to you. But just serious buyers only. I don't want no, no tire kickers. This is the real thing. This is not a redo. This is just the way GM done it. And the only thing I did was added a little more of their parts to it. Might have picked up the weight of the car a little bit, but that's not an issue. Well, I enjoyed talking with you. I hope this makes sense. If you want a good Corvette, 67 Coupe, 435 horse, 427 tri-power setup, this is your one. You won't find one any cleaner, any nicer. I don't care if you go to Barrett Jackson, Meacham's, or wherever. This is as good as it gets. And this is even better because it's not a restore that I paid someone two or three hundred thousand dollars to restore it for me. This is original. So anyway, I'm going to be posting this video. If you're interested, please give us a call. Thank you for your time.